chocolate, and beer. Have you ever wondered why beer has bubbles or how chocolate is made? Fermentation! Fermentation is commonly thought of in the context of food products such as beer, cheese, chocolate, and many more. Despite the fact that we associate fermentation with food products, it is actually a process which occurs in all organisms on the cellular level. Microorganisms such as fungi and bacteria use fermentation to get energy. There are several different types of fermentation that occur within organisms, but we will focus on lactic acid and ethanol fermentation. Fermentation occurs after glycolysis when oxygen is not present. This means that it is an anaerobic process. If oxygen is present, the Krebs cycle occurs, followed by the electron transport chain. Glycolysis, the breakdown of glucose by enzymes releasing energy and pyruvate. The breaking down of glucose releases two electrons, which are added to the NAD+, creating NADH and H+. NAD plus is an electron carrier molecule essential to the cellular respiration process. These two electrons are added to the pyruvate, creating lactic acid. Essentially, fermentation is the recycling of NAD plus molecules so that glycolysis can continue to produce ATP. You may be wondering how this relates to chocolate and beer. This is an experiment demonstrating fermentation of yeast and glucose. As more glucose is used up in fermentation, carbon dioxide and ethyl alcohol are produced. The same process occurs in making beer, except more ingredients are added for color and flavor. When cocoa beans are harvested, they are chopped in half and left in a closed box. The organisms that are on the blade that cut the beans inoculate the beans, and the, be the organisms use their surrounding materials to ferment which captures the flavor of the material in the surrounding seeds. This is what gives chocolate its flavor.